The main aim was to make science fun and exciting for children as young as five. Science graduates Madri and Lindy Portwig came up with the Experibuddies concept a few years ago. I exposed my children from a very young age to science experiments and then I realized that the world of science can be fun for children at a young age. I also believe that many children in primary school level are not being exposed to practical experiments enough. In just an hour, these little ones learn about different scientists and are exposed to simple experiments. The program encourages children to be inquisitive, creative, and it also builds their self-confidence because they really enjoy doing the experiments and seeing that they can get it right. Experi Buddies has been running for seven years now. Parents, teachers and schools say it's made a huge difference in their children. I got such positive feedback from the parents. Um, many parents sent emails telling me how this has changed the children's perspective on, on science and they want to be a scientist when they grow up. But you put all of this stuff in and then it's going to explode. He is Neil Armstrong. And what he does is he's the first man to land on the moon. So he took a spaceship, he bowled a one and then he flew. So we couldn't walk, there was no gravity in space, so we had to be hot. Never underestimate young minds. Understanding science, even at this young age, has become a critical component of early childhood development. At primary school, children are much more inquisitive and much more interested in things going on around them. And if you miss out on that opportunity to give them direct experience of phenomena and asking questions, then science just reduces itself to a number of facts to be learned for an exam. A high standard of maths and science education is critical to skills development and economic growth. It's an area in which South Africa is seriously lacking. Uh, our education system is not sufficiently productive to identify and to develop and to nurture the very, very fine talent that we have in our country. Anything that makes children use more than one sense is positive. A boring classroom is one where you only have to listen, or one where you only have to listen and read. But as long as you're not doing something with your hands, and as long as you're not doing something with the other senses, and as long as you're not doing something with, your, with the rest of your brain, you're wasting an opportunity. Xperi Buddies is managing to get this balance right. I think science is fun. It is really exciting for them. They love every moment. They are like little sponges. They drink in everything that I tell them. It is really, it's made easy for them, easy to understand. I just mix pink and blue and purple. It's bath time I'm going to go put my... Boss bought me in the bar. And they put it in the water, it turned it, it made blue water. Academic professionals agree that it is of critical importance that children be exposed from an early age to things that will nurture their natural curiosity and facilitate their ability to think critically. I draw speedy bunnies. <laughs> Sabitra Nadu, CCTV, Johannesburg.